What's going on? My name's Jay, and today we're talking about the Kuleshov effect and why you need to keep it in mind when making your next video. Let's take a look. Back in the late 1800s, when movies first became a thing, the whole filmmaking process was very straightforward, almost utilitarian. The term creative editing wasn't even, well, it wasn't a thing yet. Fast forward to today and we're surrounded by endless blockbusters that transport us through space and time and stretch the limits of our imagination. So what happened? Sure, you could go the easy route and say, well, technology got better, so of course movies got better. But that really only accounts for better images and better sound. What about better stories? Where did that come from? And that all goes back to the early 1900s, a Russian filmmaker named Lev Kuleshov and an experiment that he ran that ended up becoming the cornerstone of what we now call movie magic. Here's what that experiment looked like. Now, when Kuleshov showed this footage to his audience, something really interesting happened. They all talked about how hungry the actor looked when he was looking at the food, or how mournful he looked when he was looking at the little girl in the casket, and how lustful he looked when he was looking at the woman on the... I don't know what those are called. Let's go with fancy couch. Now, here's the interesting thing about that. If we take all three shots of just the actor and we put them side by side, we'll see that they are actually the same exact shot. What the audience had done was taken two separate images, assumed that they happened at the same place at the same time, and made up a story about them in their heads. This is what is now referred to as the Kuleshov effect. Now for the big question, why is this old outdated experiment so important and why should you be keeping it in mind when you're making your next video? And the video after that, and the, you get the idea. What the Kuleshov effect teaches us is that we as creators have the power to completely change the meaning of a piece of footage simply by changing the piece of footage that's next to it in a sequence. It also shows us that we have the power to tell the audience where a character is without using an establishing shot. I mean, think about it. Where did you think the actor was when he was staring at the girl on the fancy couch? I still don't know what that thing's called. This means two things for you as a creator. First, it means that you can now tell more compelling stories without oversaturating the audience with information. Remember a few weeks ago when I talked about not babying the audience? No? I'll link it in the description. By simply putting your clips in a certain order, you can allow the audience to complete the story in their head and get more immersed in the video. You also now have the ability to take two seemingly unrelated clips and put them into a sequence in order to make them seem like they were happening at the same place at the same time. This gives you almost endless storytelling and editing possibilities. Pretty cool, right? Let's look at an example. Let's say I wanted to tell a story about having creator's block. Now, I could go into a long diatribe about what that's like and how I'm trying to come up with ideas and none are coming and it's just me talking and talking and talking. Or I could do something like this. By using the Kuleshov effect, I was able to bring you further into the story and hopefully get you a little bit more emotionally invested in the main character, where if I was just talking to you about what was going on, I would have kept you at a little bit more of a distance. Keeping the Kuleshov effect in mind when you're editing your next video will help you start telling infinitely better stories. And if you wanna learn more about telling better stories, make sure you watch this video right here or watch this one right here. YouTube really thinks you'll like this one. And if you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video.